Welcome to Fighting Stats, the ultimate channel for MMA fans who love statistics and betting breakdowns. I'm your host, Art C, and I'm here to get you ready for the upcoming UFC fights. In this series, I'll be watching tape and providing my real-time analysis on how I think the fights are going to go. I'll be watching for fighters' strengths, weaknesses, tendencies, and overall strategies, pairing that with Fighting Stats' exclusive UFC stats not available anywhere else to give you a prediction on how I think the fights are going to go and, ultimately, who's going to win. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to Fighting Stats. Welcome back to Fighting Stats. I'm your host, RC, and today we are continuing on with Justin Gaethje. He comes in as the number 8 ranked lightweight. Now he fights the number 6 ranked lightweight in Edson Barbosa. Barbosa going to have a 5-inch reach advantage. They are the same height there. Uh, so let's get this fight started. If you're with us in that last fight, we watched uh, Justin Gaethje knock out James Vick there in the first round. Uh, so now he takes on another striker in Edson Barbosa. Again, I thought James Vick a little bit chinny in the end there. So uh, not surprising that he got knocked out by a power puncher in uh, Justin Gaethje. So uh, Barbosa going to be a little bit of a tougher task. Barbosa going to throw some uh, leg kicks as well. So Gaethje again, the plus 110 underdog. So two fights in a row where he comes in as the underdog. Let's see how this fight plays out. Here's Edson Barbosa in the black trunks, the minus 130 favorite in this fight. Uh, both guys high level strikers so uh, I assume that this is going to be a striking match let's see what happens here alright let's get this fight started there Gaethje opens up orthodox Barbosa opens up orthodox Gaethje already goes outside low kick right away Barbosa tries to flash the outside low kick didn't land it another one there from Gaethje only so many of those that you can take and Barbosa is a big leg kicker as well so um, surprise about that let's see some adjustments Barbosa lands an outside three for Gaethje two for uh, Barbosa jab to the body there from Gaethje nice right hook there from Gaethje lands 30 seconds in another outside low kick there from Gaethje that's five within the first 30 seconds Barbosa goes question mark kick nice left hook to the body nice dig to the body oh 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 oh, oh okay hold on all right a lot of happening here I'm gonna slow this one down so I can really see what's going on uh, we'll go half speed. So I think Gaethje lands an outside low kick. Go, yeah, Barbosa goes question mark kick there. Gaethje, I think, goes right back to the low kick. Right hand there. Left hand misses. Right uppercut miss hits. Right hook lands. Barbosa's rocked here. Misses on that. Another right hand. Left hand left lands. Another right hand lands. Barbosa's up against the fence. He's wobbled. Gaethje goes uppercut again. Misses on that right hook. Barbosa's trying to circle off. Winking that eye out here. Nice knee up the middle there from Barbosa. Gaethje clinching up. All right. So that was a big combo there. This different uh, strike stones from Gaethje. Uh, Barbosa trying to clear the cobwebs here a little bit. Blinking the eye out there. Bar uh, Gaethje has a clinch. So Gaethje clinching here. And knees in the clinch. Worth noting that Gaethje not looking to get any takedowns. I know he has a background in wrestling, but uh, he uses it more of a defensive wrestling than anything, uh, trying to keep the fight out. So if I think if Gaethje has a choice, he wants to keep the fight standing. Nice right hand in the clinch. Nice uppercut there from Gaethje. A couple of right hands there. It's tied up on the fence here. Nice right uppercut again. Gaethje throwing from the hips on those hip, uh, those hooks. Back to the center. Barbosa goes outside low kick a little bit short. Nice defense there from Gaethje getting out of the way. Nice jab there from Gaethje. Gaethje dipping down a little bit with that. 1-2 from Barbosa a little bit short. He pulled back on that. Gaethje steps into the pocket and throws these little short uppercuts here. I like this one. So he steps into the pocket, feints over to the right. He's going to come over with the left hook there. Comes up. With a look, look how close he is in, in here. Left hook, hands down. Right hook, hands down. Right, lands there. Left hook again. Oh, Barbosa lands a left hook on the break. Lead uppercut there from Gaethje. Oh, they're throwing now. Now they're just throwing. Big right hand there from Gaethje. Three minutes left here in round number one. 
Jab there from Gaethje. Outside low kick there from Gaethje. This is a five round fight too. Barbosa lands an outside low kick. Watch this. Barbosa lands an outside low kick. It looked like it it hurts him, so Gaethje falls off balance there. Both legs are getting chewed up there. Barbosa lands another leg kick. Right Gaethje right hand. Oh, gets him on the circle there. Alright, let's see this replay here. Whoop. Barbosa goes leg kick again, right? Gaethje comes forward. Gaethje not liking this leg kick. So one of the things that you do against leg kicks is you have to crowd the kicker. Uh, make sure that you get into his face. Doesn't give him enough room. And then you can throw these punches in close. So Gaethje, again, dealing with the leg kicks here. We saw in the James Vick fight, anytime he pushes you up against the cage, you're going to circle off. He's going to throw some hooks. That's, uh, that's what he does here. He comes forward, throws a right hand. Uh, um, Barbosa trying to cover up. Now when lands, you see Barbosa taking, he's going to circle left. So what does Gaethje do? He throws this looping right hook. And lands him on the circle. Uh, Barbosa probably thought he was out of range there. Uh, Gaethje lands the uh, he he reaches out there, lands the right hook on the circle. So it's 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 a little bit of the forward pressure from him, right? You only have really three ways: left, right, or right straight through him, or like a takedown sort of thing. So Barbosa chose to go right, and then Gaethje's going to throw these hooks on the uh, on the circle. Let's watch this uh, the replay here. All right, so Gaethje throws this right hand blocked. Barbosa trying to circle off, hands down. He got caught there with the right hook. He went out. He didn't see it coming. He went out. He's completely out. And then quick stoppage there, but uh, good stoppage. So two, yeah, hands are down. He didn't circle out. He didn't protect himself while circling. Uh, got caught. Normally Barbosa pretty durable, uh, but in this case, I don't. I just don't think he saw the right hand there. Uh, went out. So that's two first round knockouts for Jane. Uh, sorry, uh, Justin Gaethje two as the underdog even uh so yeah he's on a little bit of a roll here uh we're gonna keep watching justin gaethje and, and his fight tape uh, my name is artsy and this is fighting sets hope you enjoyed the show thanks for watching all right guys well that is it for today thank you very much for watching if you like this type of content make sure you smash the like button hit the subscribe uh you'll get notified anytime we put out new content listen to this we just hit a massive parlay for twenty nine thousand dollars at ufc 297 that is one UFC after 296 where we hit a parlay for $82,000. That's back-to-back -back parlays. We've made $110,000. And how do we do it? We use our exclusive fighting stats. Not available anywhere else. Our exclusive fighting stats gives us information, gives us a big edge over the sports books, and tell us what's going to happen within the fights. We post all that information, our breakdowns, our best bets over at patreon.com slash fighting stats. Don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe today. Again, my name is Art C. This is Fighting Stats. Thanks for watching.